Hi, I'm Stella Remington and I'm the author of Riptide, which is one in the series of Liz Carlyle novels, the latest one. Riptide begins when a young British Muslim is arrested with a group of Somalian pirates trying to hijack a Greek cargo boat. And then the question is, what's he doing there and how did he get there? And that is the puzzle that faces Liz Carlyle and her team. And the book involves them working out how this happened, what he's doing there. And the plot unravels and takes them from Birmingham to Pakistan, to Athens and on to Somalia. And in the course of it, some of Liz Carlyle's colleagues are put in considerable danger and they eventually discover that there's something really unpleasant being planned for Birmingham as well as the things that are going on in Somalia. So that's the essence of the plot. I write about these topics because of my history of working in MI5 for 27 years. And these are the topics that I had to address while I was uh, employed as an intelligence officer. I've brought my plots up to date. I, I worked most of the time during the Cold War and during the time when the IRA was very active threatening um, us in, uh, in Britain. Um, but nowadays I write about the current threats to national security and I do that by keeping a very sharp eye on what's going on in the world. The main character of my books is Liz Carlyle and she's a mid-30s intelligence officer in MI5. She's a bright, sparky woman who likes to, get, likes to understand what the issues are and is not easily put off by the difficulties of her investigations. She doesn't like being patronised by men um, and she makes it that pretty clear because some of the men that she has to work with who are all part of the team are rather given to patronising females. So she works with uh, a research assistant called Peggy Kinsolvin who is a much more um, bookish kind of person than Liz Carlyle but is essential to the investigations that go on. And she has another character in her team called Dave Armstrong who is the upfront guy who's always getting into trouble and difficulties. And then in MI6, because they're also part of the investigative team, there is Geoffrey Fain, a much older man, who is one of the ones who likes to do the patronising, and his younger colleague, uh, Bruno Mackay, who models himself rather uh, on Geoffrey Fain. So these are the main characters, and others come in as the investigations develop. I'm often asked if there's anything of me reflected in the character of Liz, and the answer, of course, is yes, there's bound to be, because she is what I once was, a mid-30s MI5 officer. But Liz is a modern MI5 officer. When I joined MI5, women were not allowed to do the sharp end intelligence work, and we were really restricted to doing the paperwork and sitting at the desks. But now women can do all the work of the intelligence services, and Liz Carlyle is one of those women. So she's up front. But sometimes I let her say some of the things which I thought when I was younger, uh, but never actually said. But Liz Carlyle says it, and that's why, you know, she, if she gets patronised, she'll, she'll fight back, whereas maybe I didn't. I just sort of let it roll over me. I'm working on, on the next book, which will come out in the summer of uh, 2012. And in that book, uh, Liz Carlyle and her team discover that there is somebody, some country, is threatening a cyber attack on some of our defence infrastructure. And their job is to find out which country, who's doing it, how they're doing it, and how it can be prevented before some disaster occurs. In the course of that book, which will start in Switzerland, and will take the team to, to France, the south of France, to rural Norfolk, Liz finds herself in a dangerous situation and only the resource of the rest of her team manages to get her out of it and get to a successful conclusion.